What's up everybody? This is Erica from the Classy Clown blog. This one's titled Why Asians and Business Owners Don't Give a Crap About the Election. Because they don't, right? So I got this from Gary V and a couple other business owners, Greg Cardone, just basically like, doesn't matter who wins. I'm already winning because I'm a business owner. Now, the reason why I pick Asians is because the last couple articles I've posted and shared with you guys are Indian Americans, uh, Haitians, and there's one of the Russians are, and Chinese are the highest group of people, illegal immigrants right now. Not Mexicans, not El Salvadorians, not South America. Why? Because a lot of those countries know this is the golden ticket. America is the golden ticket. If they get here, they can do whatever, right? And the funny thing is, what's happened the past 15 years, 10 to 15 years, is we've had so many uh, illegals from Mexico, they've been sending them 100, 200, $300. So you've got 30 million people, which is the real number, sending home $100 a week, that's $300 million a week going into Mexico's economy. It's the reason you see the rebirth of a lot of their cities, their restaurants, their real estate. That's why, that on top of tourism. So these people in these other countries know, man, especially Haitians, if I get here, I can send 100 to $500 home a week. Man, not only can I improve the economy there, I can get some more family here. So here's the reason why Asians and business owners don't care. And again, immigrants, uh, legal immigrants, 620 out of 100,000 start a business every month in America. Let that seek in, okay? Why? College, higher college completion. You ever meet Africans? I mean, they're talking about two, three uh, degrees. I have a friend right now, he's African. He's at medical school and is finishing up his MBA. Same time, it's crazy. All right, so jobs. So this results in higher paying jobs, higher skilled jobs, medical fields, side business and business. Now, even if they come to America and they have a low paying job somewhere in a, you know, wherever, they focus on their five to nine and how can they go into a poorer community and buy a little shop with their credit card or their business line of credit and go open up a little shop and make money to the point where they can leave that first job and provide for their family. So already they've got the center blocks. If you look at Asian Americans and, and many actually African, different African groups, they make more than white Americans hand over foot. They're making 70,000 to 75,000 a year. Okay. The average white American, it's averaged out, makes 68, almost 69,000. So they're already beating them there and the math there, okay? So here, why, it, this is the circle chart here. Why? Because when you own a business, you have access to almost a thousand, but we'll say for sake of argument, you can buy this book, 475 tax deductions. Tax deductions, incentives. Listen, I already told you guys, when I hired a um, person who was on welfare and a felon, the state paid me money at my brick and mortar business. So, and I only hired them part-time. So I got money back that year as an incentive. Investments, nine times out of 10 Afri um, African and Islander um, blacks, when they come to America, they make 30% more than a US born blacks. So foreign blacks make more and they actually invest more. So this can be anywhere from lending club, real estate, uh, properties, businesses, you name it. What does this allow them to do? Bring more family. There is a certain type of business visa where you can have, if you make 250,000 a year through your business and you can have the ability to hire five people but you tell the government, I really need those five family members. I can trust them, I can work with them, and it'd be great. They can bring over more family. Very important. Now, third win, what happens? They, they got the higher degree, higher college completion, side businesses, businesses starting every month. They've got the business deductions, investments, and bringing more family home. Guess what that leads to them to have? A 10X life. They have more investments, more family, more money. Again, I've told you in other videos, when I go to the mall, who do I see with bags in their hands? Asian kids, <laughs> Asian parents and Asian kids and Hispanics and Hispanic kids. Why? Because those two groups really, really, really start businesses. We already know one in 10 Asians have a business in America. One in 34 whites, one in 54 Hispanics, and one in five blacks. So what does that tell you to do before this next recession comes up? Start a business. If you don't even do nothing but start a side business and grab the book, 475 Tax Deductions, if you look at your check, nine times out of 10, people lose one third of their check through taxes. From your cell phone, to your property tax, to your sales tax, to your income tax, you're losing huge chunks of money. Uh, the average person that makes under 75,000 a year should not be paying any taxes. Should be getting a tax refund. And working at HMR Block, I can tell you, uh, if you make under 40,000 and you have several kids, 
there's no reason every year you don't get four to eight thousand dollars back a year in taxes i've seen it in my face and guess what they don't use the money for anything wise they don't buy a rental or a new house and rent out the old house they don't buy uh you know put the money in stock they just spend the money so use your money wisely get more investments focus have a 10x life you know the last recession i knew people who had 10 20 30 rentals guess what their lifestyle didn't change I still saw them going on vacations on Facebook. I still saw their kids at private school. I still saw them eating out all the time and their life didn't change. Who did life change for? People with no savings, people who lost their homes in foreclosure, people who lost their cars in repos. I mean, when the tide goes out, we see who's swimming naked. So this is a real big reason why I tell y'all they don't care about this election. I have a friend who works with several Asians and then he's in the technical field. And he's like, none of them care about Trump or Hillary. I mean, he brings it up. They could care less because in the, the day they've got a side business. They got a highly skilled, they're engineer, you know, for them doesn't matter. In the, the day they're going to keep making investments. They're going to keep bringing over more family and they're going to keep living their life. It just is what it is. You guys. So this is Erica classy climb blog. Hey, get like the immigrants, get your immigrant hustle on, start your side business, get some of that tax money back and then make more investments. You guys. Oh, check out below the links for the website and for credit repair. You guys have a great day.